What do you see when you look out here? Do you just see a bunch of weeds and plants, or is there much more? Welcome to Health Ranger Science. I'm Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. And what you're actually looking at here is a way to prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. Yes, indeed, it's found in this plant right here, which is called horsetail. This is a particularly tall one, but if you pan over there, you can see this entire field is covered with horsetail. And that's because if you look down there, we have a sandy riverbed that we've located here in a state park in Texas. The sand creates the opportunity for this plant to convert silicates, which is in the sand obviously, into silica that is biologically available. When you eat this plant, you can, you can grind it up, you can consume the powder, or you can even boil it and get the silica out in the water and drink it as a tea. When you do that, the silica goes through your intestinal wall into your bloodstream, and from there, it binds up with aluminum, which is a, a neurotoxin. Aluminum promotes dementia, promotes Alzheimer's. You can get it in your blood from food or medicines, over-the-counter medicines, or even vaccines. It's found in many vaccines as well. This plant removes aluminum from your body by binding with it to create what are called hydroxyaluminosilicates. It's a large molecule that your kidneys can then filter out of your blood so you urinate out the aluminum together with the silica from this plant. So this right here, if the pharmaceutical industry could patent this, they would call it a miracle cure for Alzheimer's and dementia. But of course they can't do that because it's, nat it's a natural plant, you can't patent it. And so no one really talks about this, but it's a powerful way to eliminate aluminum from your body. Now there are many different varieties of horsetail. This variety here in Texas grows maybe four or five feet tall, but there are other varieties that can grow eight to 10 feet tall. And it's one of the oldest plants actually on earth. It's a, you could really call it a prehistoric plant for sure. And it's a very simple plant. It has the chlorophyll in its stem, which is why the stem of course is green. So this plant does not produce leaves. Leaves are a more modern invention. So all these other plants out here that have leaves are more advanced, They're, they have better technology. This technology is like prehistoric technology, but it still uses chlorophyll. And the interesting thing about chlorophyll that all these plants share is that chlorophyll is used in combination with carbon dioxide for photosynthesis processing, of course, in sunlight. You have sunlight, carbon dioxide, and chlorophyll, you have plant energy. And it's very interesting to me that in a time when so many people on our planet are talking about a war on carbon or that carbon is bad or that CO2 levels are bad, the truth is if you drop CO2 levels to zero in our atmosphere, all of this would be dead. Every plant on the planet would die and soon thereafter every animal would die and every human would die. So without CO2, you can't have all of this green. When you see green, you are seeing a technology from Mother Nature that needs CO2 in order to thrive. And if you give it CO2, Mother Nature will grow medicine, powerful medicine. These plants literally take the carbon out of the air, carbon dioxide, and they take water out of the ground, H2O. They quite literally disassemble these molecules and they reassemble them into complex carbon chains to make other molecules such as chlorophyll, or vitamin C in the case of an orange or other kinds of nutrients, and phycocyanins, or everything in spirulina, chlorella, blueberries, you know, root vegetables, beets. It's all synthesized by the plant using a natural synthesis met method that uses carbon from the atmosphere. So if you think you should have a war on carbon, then that means you hate all plants, <laughs> which is kind of not, not, a, not a very green belief system if you ask me. In any case, these, all of these plants here, these silica, herbs, they reproduce via a rhizome. So if I dig this up, I'm going to find a, uh, a big rhizome underneath here, and all of these stems will be sprouting from that one rhizome. I'm not going to dig this one up because I don't want to move it, but there's a, there's a long, thick rhizome, almost like a, like a number two pencil, and it, uh, that's what's under the ground giving support to all these plants. The root systems of these can go very, very deep three or four feet in some cases. So I'm not gonna mess with this plant because it would kill it if I, if I uproot it. But you can harvest rhizomes if you wanna grow them yourself and put them in pots. You gotta have sand though. Check out the soil here, look. 
This soil is very, very sandy. That's the silica source for the plant. And if you don't have sand, you can't really grow a horsetail. You gotta have a little bit of silica. Now every once in a while, one of these plant stems will produce spores. So this plant reproduces actually through two different methods. One is through the rhizome, and the second way is through spores. Now I don't see a spore-bearing uh, stem at the moment. It might not be the right time of year for it, but every once in a while you'll see a spore-bearing plant and that releases the spores, again, which is ancient plant technology, prehistoric technology, and the spores land in places of opportunity and then those grow new rhizomes and new plants. So that's how this plant spreads. You notice this plant doesn't have flowers, so it doesn't reproduce with that advanced flower technology. It doesn't have pollen, for example. It doesn't have to be fertilized like flowers do. It just reproduces by spores and rhizomes and that's it. So it's very easy to grow. In fact, many people consider it to be a weed. They're trying to get rid of it. And they might be going to the hospital to get drugs for Alzheimer's and dementia. The best medicine is right there. It's in your backyard growing as a weed. Amazing. Support our films for humanity. Visit healthrangerstore.com. The cleanest lab-verified health products in the world.